These two pictures, this one first, was taken on board the Eldridge on the 9th of August, 1943, three days before the fatal test, and was a final briefing for interested parties, scientists, and a few Navy people. Almost all of them on this picture were civilian. The man giving the lecture, I do not currently have the name of, but he was a specialist in subatomic particle physics. He was from India, the continent of India. And it was his lecture, and all of the people there were listening to him. The man in the foreground on this side, in the Navy uniform, is Dr. Oscar O. Schneider, the MD, who is officially in charge of the medical aspects of the experiment. The man who's I'm pointing to is Oscar Schneider, is this one down here. And next to him, Slightly over towards the middle is a man. It looks like he has graying hair. It's because of the black and white. It's not gray. It's a very strange individual by the name of Don Thor. He's holding a sheaf of papers in his hand, as you may note. He was a civilian, and we do not know all of his history, except it is alleged that he, as his brother Val, were from Venus. And why he had an ex a interest in this experiment, we do not know to this day nor why he was there. We do not know to this day. Many other people, the scientists we cannot identify, in this picture also included, was Dr. Vannevar Bush, advisor to the president, and he's lost in the crowd in the background. The man I'm referring to as Vannevar Bush is the one right above my finger. Our military, the Russian military, basically the militaries of the world have been in constant conflict with the outer space alien. The, the small gray, the large gray, the reptilians, the whole thing. There are, 11, there are 11 distinct races of aliens. Two are benevolent. One had to leave here in a hurry because their world is under attack, both on the surface as well as underground there, the Pleiadesians. They're familiar. Maybe some of you are familiar with that, uh, would some of you raise your hands who've heard of Billy Meyer and uh, some of the, uh, you know, very good, about half the group. Well, Billy Meyer is one of these lucky people that they figured, well, he's kind of a simple type, we'll show him everything. Well, these are the benevolent aliens and they've been here helping us. In fact, I have a picture, I have a picture, let me reach for it here. I have a picture of one of the aliens been working for the United States Pentagon for the last 58 years. His name is Val, Val Valiant Thor. He's right here. There's my father in the background. This old place, the ready room of the USS Eldridge, Al Bielica has probably explained or maybe even shown you this picture. There's a list of the some of the notable people in it. They're all the atomic bomb scientists of the day, all the uh, time variant uh, experimentalists of the day, all the top physicists of, of that particular day. This was, in, this was in August of 1943. Now this guy has not changed one iota in 58 years. Started work, he came here, crashed here or whatever, whether he's under duress or not, he started work for our U.S. Navy and military operations in 1937, uh, either 37 or 38 is what I've been told. So it's for 58 years, this man's been employed, probably under duress. If you don't do as we say, we're just going to use you for alien bait or something. I don't know. But anyway, he basically hasn't changed. He lives for 490 years, what he says his lifespan is. Now, he's supposedly a semi-benevolent, he's a human-looking type person. He has six fingers and six toes, and he's got one oversized heart one lung, giant lung, uh, his blood vessels are bigger, he's got copper oxide for blood similar to an octopus, uh, his brain capacity 300 centimeters greater than ours, he has a thinking capacity, uh, IQ, if, if you were to measure it, it'd be totally off the scale, it'd be about a 1200 IQ, um, he speaks a hundred languages fluently, alien as well as others, um, 
he's a remarkable person. I had a chance to meet him one time. Now, now, by the way, he doesn't shake hands. He was kind of in a spacesuit because all aliens, regardless benevolent or otherwise, they're carrying germs and diseases and bacterium in and on them that are deadly to us. If, if I were making policy, I, I'd quarantine them all because, because how do we not know that some of our diseases like AIDS, Ebola, uh, hantavirus, and a few of these other weird designer diseases, as I call them, are not made from the cadavers of some of these aliens as a biological weapon to use against the people of the United States. Well, I'm tired. I'm a tired American speaking out. 